Hey, robot. Pick up the glass. Someone talk to me. Pick up the glass. Let me search for it. I found it. Rotate my body. Leave leg to turn. Turn body to in sync with legs. Found and lock target. Lean towards target. Lift up arm. Reach out to target. Grab target. Yes. Mission accomplished. Cheers. Hold on. Let's see what is in me. Are you ready? 3, 2, 1. My ear is equivalent to mine. It picks up sound, listen to user's command, and convert audio sound waves into small electrical current. My eye is equivalent to camera. It is used to capture a visual image and uses digital components to register the intensity and color of light and finally convert it to pixel data. My finger is equivalent to gripper. It enables the holding of an object to be manipulated. The actions include holding, tightening, handling and releasing of an object. My hands and legs are equivalent to arm. I use them to reach out and grab an object. They are my limbs, so I use them for climbing, walking, running, and jumping. My heart, it is equivalent to oscillator. It provides the clock to the microcontroller and generates a periodic waveform of desired frequency to provide a timing for different operations. The nerves in my body are equivalent to the electrical wires. It is used to transmit electronic signals generated by sensors to the processor and also transmit the electronic signal from the processor to actuator. Finally, my brain is equivalent to main processor. It is the main and most crucial component that is responsible for interpreting commands. Basically, it is a logic circuitry that responds to and processes basic instructions. I store the knowledge in my brain, which is equivalent to the software. Software are the instruction sets with information to be processed to react and make a decision. In general, software is not only used in robot, it is also used in all devices and applications. It is the key element that brings us to the next level experience in terms of business, work, study and play. Software is something that will not be impacted by any environment change. Instead, it will be greatly in demand, and the demand will increase exponentially. Let's take a look on the devices that we use in our daily life. Look, these are devices that we have been using in our life in the area of business, work, study, and play. Smartphone, a device that we use every day, it has more features than the basic analog phone that introduced in the late 1800s. There are thousands of smartphone apps including games, personal use, business use programs that run all on the phone. There are various accessible utilities. We use it to make and receive calls, take and store pictures, browse internet, GPS navigation, record and play audio, display weather and temperature, time and date, health tracker, and many more. There are two types of the software used in the smartphone. First, it is the operating system which is known as the firmware. Second, it is the mobile application software. Desktop computer or laptop. It has plenty of the functions that cannot be found on a smartphone. They are meant for professionals to do modeling and simulations. Such as Eagle PCB, Microsoft Visual, Eclipse, LabVIEW, AutoCAD, MATLAB, SOLIDWORKS, and many more. Desktop computer or laptop also runs on two main different types of software. They are operating system and application software. Server. It stores, sends, and receives or serves files and data to other computers, known as clients, over a network. We unconsciously use it in our daily life such as internet surfing, social interaction, video streaming, online shopping, and more. There are different categories of the softwares used in the server to facilitate and maintain the high-end computing services and functions. These include operating system, application software, 
and data redundancy system. Robotic arm. It is used to automate or replace human manual manufacturing operations, such as pick and place, sorting, or any repetitive task. The software that used to control the movement of robotic arm are robotic application firmware and robot operating system, which is known as ROS. Computerized numerical control, C and C. It takes in digitized data, a computer and CAM program that is used to control, automate, and monitor the movements of a machine. It is mainly used to replace manual milling, lifting, drilling, grinding, metal stamping, and many other types of machines. There are three main types of softwares that are used in the CNC machine. First, computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing. We also call it as CAD CAM. Second, geometric code, which is also known as G code. And lastly, it is the programmable logic controller firmware. Product code scanner. It scans and reads barcodes from different sources such as image files, raw intensity sensors, and videos. It is mainly used to translate the data contained in the barcode and send to computer in the human readable format. A couple of common examples are barcode and QR code. For product code scanner to be functional, it uses barcode software and libraries, such as image processing libraries. Smartwatch, a wearable computer in the form of watch. It provides a local touchscreen interface for daily use, which requires associated smartphone app for management and telemetry. Common features that can be found on a smartwatch include message and phone calls notifications, and it is mainly used to track our fitness level and health condition. Software on smartwatch is known as application software. It allows our watch to run and communicate with the application on our mobile device. Gaming Controller It is an input device used to control a video game. The common devices are keyboard, mouse, gamepads, and joysticks. The signal are then sent wired or wirelessly to the gaming console. The Metal Controller Unit, MCU, pairs with firmware in order to perform a task or an operation in a gaming controller. Automotive Microcontroller The biggest difference between the car in the past and now is the technology used. The old cars heavily focus on electrical and mechanical, while the modern cars focus on software. In other words, the cars have features and functions they are primarily enabled through software. It has software-defined features such as navigation, airbag system, voice recognition, combustion engines ignition, gearbox control, collision warning system, and many more. The software used in the microcontroller unit is the operating system and firmware. A quick recap of what we have gone through. Most of the devices around us need software. But how software is being designed and developed? Let's have a quick glance of the flow. Coding is the very first step in the software development process. It is about writing software source code to translate the logic of how hardware works into the programming source code that is human readable. After done coding, compiling and linking the code are the next step. Here, we basically want to convert the human-readable source code into a computer-executable machine code using a compiler. Next, we are going into Flashy. This is a process of transferring the executable program into the microprocessor. The subsequent step is to interconnect the hardware and software. At this stage, we interconnect all the individual parts of a machine or a robot into a complete system that can perform a meaningful action. The last step of the software development process is to execute. 
the software that has instruction sets in the machine or robot are to be processed to react and make decisions. If you are looking for a vaccination to improve software proficiency and learn more about how software contributes in different devices in different environments and applications, feel free to contact us. We welcome any inquiry and request for the next topic to be shared. Thank you! Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gary Lee ESP. For more details and collaboration, please visit our company website, like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram too.